Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here with a new video tutorial for Fortnite and Market. But first, let me show you the mini collection that I'm going to use. It is the Vintage Artistry Lilac Color. It is awesome. Look these laser cut sheets. This is a mini collection that also has a second laser cut sheet. As you see, I already take off some of the pieces, but I want to share with you and look this paper. It is my favorite from the collection. And I select this paper that you see here, that is the Tranquil paper. And some pieces of the ephemera stacks. Look, I'm going to use three photos and this is the lilac ephemera stacks. And I select the doilies, but it package has many pieces to work with. And I just uh, take a pencil and uh, trace uh, around the doilies in the area that I'm going to place it later. And I love this piece that you see here. It's a laser uh, cut. And it has two hinges that goes perfect. It gives this vintage rustic look. And I want to place the photos in that way that you see. Now I'm going to remove all the pieces because I need to prepare my paper first. I'm going to use some mixed media products. So I need uh, gesso clear. I'm going to apply gesso clear to the paper, a small amount as you see. And with my paintbrush, I apply the gesso to all the paper. And it's important when you're going to use paint to prepare the paper, it gives like a surface and it's easy to work later with the paints and the color looks better. Now I'm going to distress uh, all the edges of these pieces with vintage photo distress oxide they are ready and I want to show you uh, the 6x6 six six paper pad the same collection and I'm going to use a cut some of the butterflies and pieces from this paper and now I take this paper that is my favorite to trace around uh, and cut a rectangle because I want to uh, cover this piece that you see here and I apply, uh, I add glue around the rectangle, not in the center. Now I add a piece of cardboard behind the doilies and I am hitting them on the background paper. And with this piece, I just add 3D foam tape, but I'm not adhering this piece at this moment because I'm going to use this stamp that you see here that is in between stamp to add textures on the background. I'm using Versamark and I place a piece of uh, white paper just to cover the doily because I don't want to stamp the doily. I am stamping around the doily with the with the Versa mark and I add the embossing powder in color gold. And I am removing a little of the dust with my paintbrush. Now with the heat tool, I melt the embossing powder. And I use my anti-static uh, powder in the rest, or I apply in the rest of the paper to uh, for a easy stamping. Now I will continue uh, doing the same steps. I add uh, the, verse, the stamping with Versamark. Then I, I add the embossing powder and melt. I use the, the piece with the two hinges and I place it just to see where I, where, where I need more uh, of the textures on the background. I am trying like a, add the texture around, around of not all the pieces, but in some areas specific. Here I add more and I'm going to melt everything now. Okay, here is what I did. As you see, I already adhere half of the of this piece with the um, 3D foam tape and stamping, as you see, uh, the rest of the in some of the area. Now I add a piece of cardboard here where it will be my focal point photo and I'm adding more texture. This time I add in a, a piece of cheesecloth that I already dyed in the same color. It is 
uh, a padlock from the laser cut that I just love and I put through the padlock at the fabric I don't know it looks so lovely in that way and now here's my uh, focal point uh, photo the big one now I add another piece of the cheesecloth over the small doily in the bottom here and I make like a tail with the fabric and now I am going to place the two photos here I place this, uh, one on the top and other in the bottom and now I'm going to use the laser cuts uh, to place to make layers with the the lips. I'm just uh, using the different lips and here's the trimming The lacy trim that I'm going to use. I just want to add the lace between the photos here one in the bottom and other in the between the two photos of the top here. I am thinking to yeah here to add it in both sides now I continue playing with the fabric and the photo here. It takes me a little between uh, to find the the right position, the right position to uh, to place everything. Now I add the butterfly between the two photos on the top, and look how beautiful are these flowers. It is the country blooms flowers. And this is the punch color i just love it they are very delicate and beautiful and i just play with the different flower here and there and place it i'm not uh, hitting anything yet just uh place the things to see how uh how i love everything and now i add this small flower here the fabric continue playing with the fabric and i think that ah the the key and it's time to adhere everything okay after a few minutes I adhere all the pieces I try to show you uh, some step here but my camera turned off look I stamp uh, three times more here and I add this lock in the corner of the bottom photo I also add a laser cut that is a lace over the trimming lace but now I need to add color and I'm using the distress crayons with the distress ink I mix these two colors and I mix it with water I am trying to bring like a shade of color around all the embellishments uh, on my page and over the uh, stamping all the embossing gold powder I just love how looks the goal of the embossing with this lilac color it looks so pretty in person and i continue adding the the color here around everything it is a light color that i prepare because i add enough water and um, because i just want to uh, give like a little depth behind all this embellishment here and now i take a uh, paper towel I'm going to cover the photo and I am spray water over the distress ink and let a few seconds just to give the effect that is the distress ink let on the paper when you mix with water and I will continue doing this step around all the area here add water and then with the paper towel I remove uh, the water and it will let this uh, white spot on the background it's so lovely the effect but it's hard that you can see through the video in this moment and I add e enough of water because I want that the background looks soft and that is the reason that I add now I cover the photo again and I am adding white paint splatters around all the area here I just love this effect on the background very shabby and give like a softness to the background I clean a little of the paint that was in the photo now I will add the rest of the pieces that I have from the laser cut I am adding distress oxide in and I add this ticket on the background uh, 
on the back of the butterfly on the top now i'm adding another uh pad lock a small one from the six by six paper pad that i cut and some of the leaves and let me tell you that i i, I have been inspired by the uh, photo on at the bottom you can see in that photo how they are looking at each other and how much love I don't know it brings a lot of love and I just love the flowers with the leaves and I try to bring this uh, to the page in, in in that is the reason that I cut a lot of flower a lot of leaves and added here just to uh, just to um, make it more natural and cohesive with the photo just to try to transmit and I'm trying with all the leaves and flowers uh, like a take out of the photo this uh, sentiment and put it on my page now I'm adding some of the laser cut these are like a sentiment uh, that comes in the collection and I am placing one in each photo and I choose the choose happiness as my title and I add 3d foam tape and put it uh, in the corner in the flower cluster uh, in the corner and I add the word there now I continue adding some of the flowers some of the like this uh, stamps that I cut and added 3d fountain and put it in this uh, bottom part here I just try to uh, as you see here it's ready I just try to uh, make a balance between the three points here with the different cuts and element now I'm going to add more texture and I'm using 3D, uh, 3D gloss gel with these micro beads that are the same uh, color of the paper. The only thing that is a little intense tone that is perfect because once I apply the art tones of the background, it gives me a little more of depth uh, on, the, on the project and I love that. And I'm adding uh, I am taking a little of uh, gloss gel with my paint brush and add the micro beads around the doilies on the background or or I should say behind the, the, the doilies to create the depth and different dimensions of my page. And I continue here and there adding uh, all these textures on my page also behind the butterflies and uh, I am I am careful to not cover the stamping work so I'm trying to place all these around the stamping here's when I you I'm adding some of the bubbles wishing bubbles that comes in this package uh, the double layer this is the uh, I don't know how to pronounce the, the word so <laughs> but I will let you down below the list of the supplies and you can find this is a uh, very beautiful uh, pieces and I am adding all the uh, lilac color on the background here just the small pieces just to add this lovely touch and you can see here how lovely uh, these pieces are now I'm going to add a few of of the pearls between all these uh, layers I removed the wishing bubble to this side here and a small pearl here on the top another one here and I think that this is the last steps now you can see here uh, I'm trying to show you how it looks I just love the final result the colors are so lovely and the combination of the gold with the lilac looks awesome well I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial let me know if you like it with a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and I see you soon with other video tutorial nos vemos bye bye